Right, this is Sheila. This is part two of my visit to Mockham in Dorset in search of Daisy and Amber's ancestors and also that those of her, of their grandmother Sandy and their father Harry or Melvin who uh, have a large, large family tree. It's very big. It's growing massively and uh, this has all been helped by the online parish registers which are free online and are invaluable in assisting me in putting this tree together it's a, it's a massive task but very enjoyable and very rewarding because I have been able to find many many of their ancestors it's really quite extensive now um, but these tape recordings that, I've, that I'm putting on now were the early stages of my research so I often didn't know a great deal, um, but the scanning of the graveyards and, and the feeling for the villages where they lived is all part of the, the research process. So here we go. This is part two of Sheila at Motcombe. Rice family. <coughs> Some of them are idiots hidden under the trees and things like that. Hard to see some of them. Oh, I have found a ride. Oh, Reverend Peter Richard ride out. 4th of Feb 1778 to 1850. Curate of Mockham for 44 years. Also his son Peter, 1806 to 1857. Under a big tree. I think all all the ones we're after have disappeared their graves now, they're too old. They are here, but they are not to be seen. Of course some of them were actually buried at Shaftesbury. They were born here, buried at Shaftesbury though. Typical of many Dorset villages, they've got a uh, very pretty gardens and um, thatch roofs. The idyllic little thatched cottage. I'll just take a picture of one as a sub. You never know, one of the ancestors could have lived in there in the past. Right, a few things from the board. Welcome to Mottcombe. Footpaths and bridleways in the parish. It's one of the largest parishes in North Dorset district. It has 20 miles of public footpaths and bridleways set on the edge of the Blackmore Vale. There's places like King's Settle Wood, Duncliffe Wood, King's Court Palace, all that remains of King John's Hunting Lodge built when the Royal Forest of Gillingham, or Gillingham covered the area. A pub called the Royal Oak. North End Farm, the oldest building in the village. I don't know where that is, that was further up I suppose. Um, that's about it. It's a war memorial, we'll just have a look on that, see if there's any names. That might ring a bell. I'm just going to take a walk up through the field behind the memorial wall. We've got a children's play area. Just to have a, I might get another view of the village from above. Looks like they play cricket here. Quite a new looking hall. It might have been built on an older one. Built up around it. Now I found a couple of namesake graves. Doesn't mean that we can that um, Daisy's ancestors and Amber's ancestors are that, that they're connected to them, but you know, just you never know, you see. It's always best to there was a young boy leaning up against a very old grave, dressed in black, looking very miserable, staring into space. I didn't really speak to him. He was just leaning up against one of that massive old grave. looked very unhappy. Right, I've just come to a uh, stile. Obviously this is places where people can walk their dogs. I'm just having a look round really, just a it all adds to the story. This 
field I'm going to has got cows in it. I can also see the church from the hill and I might take another picture from this angle because there were ancestors from this village so it is all relevant. I'm going to go back a bit and take a picture. It might come out. I haven't got a zoom lens or anything. This side of the tape's going to run out in a minute anyway. And you'll be able to see my van. The VW is in the car park with the church beyond. So that's the visit to Motcombe and Gillingham this morning on side one. And I'm now off to Shaftesbury. Following that, I should be off to Ashmore, where some of these feelings are supposed to be buried. Right, I only had to go two miles up the road to get to Shaftesbury. Right, Shaftesbury tape will continue on um, another part. Um, so that's the end of the Motcombe visit. I might return with um, further tape recordings and I do intend to return to all these villages for further scanning um, because since the original audios I have found an awful lot of information, an awful lot of ancestors um, and different names as well that have come up through the research process. So that's, this is just a short little audio really. Um, there will also be photographs that I will put on um, under Sophia Burden of um, my visit to Motcombe. So over and out for now. <laughs>